Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tutorial for you guys on this look. Um, I actually used the Carly Bible palette to get this look. If you watched my beauty haul, um, you saw that I stumbled upon the palette when I was at Ulta. Um, so if you actually haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. If you're interested in how I got this bronzy summer kind of poppin' look with this my mom called this my horsetail ponytail. <laughs> um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, stay tuned. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna just moisturize my lips um, using the cocoa butter swivel stick. Now I'm just priming my skin using Benefits The Pore Professionals. Now I'm gonna color correct with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. And if you guys are wondering what's on my neck, I actually have eczema. Um, I haven't really found anything that keeps it away except for like steroid creams that um, my doctor can prescribe to me. But if you guys have any, uh, any suggestions um, on how to get rid of eczema or just stop the flare ups, please let me know in the comments below. Now I'm just blending out that color um, corrector with my beauty blender. Now I'm trying to cover up my terrible dark circles with the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. Now I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Amber Honey. I usually go in with two layers of this just to get um, full coverage. And now I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. Um, basically now I'm just using this for highlighting purposes. So I'm going under my eyes. Um, I'm gonna go draw the line down my nose, highlight my cupid's bow, and then under my lip to give, you know, that pouty look. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder um, with the Sephora Pro Brush. I believe it is number 55. I got it when I worked at Sephora in gratis, so, but it's a really, really nice brush. Um, so I'm just using that um, to set everything. And I think I was talking to my brother, that's why I'm kind of laughing. All right, now time for brows. So I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number four. So I just first use the spoolie to brush my brow hairs up. And then I basically just try to outline, um, you know, my brows. You know, I don't try to do it too crazy, but I just try to find, I just basically try to follow the natural outline of my brows. And then I just fill in from there. Now I'm just carving my brows out with the NYX Conceal 
um, correct contour palette. I believe I used the second shade on the first column and I'm just using a um, elf brush to do this. That brush was like a dollar. Um, I really like this product because it's not too creamy. It pretty much just sticks to my skin, which I want because I don't want it moving around. Um, so I really like this product to just uh, carve out my brows. And I'm just blending some of it out with my fingers just to warm up the product and blend it in a little easier. Then I'm going in with this little mini sponge from Real Techniques. I really like it to get around the brow so that way I don't mess it up. Now I'm just priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, I believe that's what it's called. And just blending it out with my fingers. See, so yeah, I'm just starting off with this little um, kind of tone that's similar to my skin tone and I'm just blending that out all over just not really being particular with it now this color I just wanted to add it to um, give some depth to my eye add a little bit of dimension and so I'm just placing that I'm really just patting it on the outer V of my eye and you see I'm using the same brush I, I don't like to use too many eyeshadow brushes um, and again this is just an old Sigma brush that I have I don't even know what it's called but it, it works for me Maybe I went back in with that I think I went back in with that transition shade and just kind of blended everything out so there was no harsh lines And I am spraying this, um, my brush with some Fix Plus from MAC just to add a little foil effect. So I'm just really trying to be particular in where I'm placing this because I don't want to get it in my crease. So I'm just patting it, taking my time, um, and just really placing it on my eyelid. Again, not trying to get into my crease. So I do want to go ahead and give a quick little mini review on the Carly Bible uh, Deluxe Palette. I, I saw it at Ulta and it was just, it stood out to me because the colors were so beautiful. I think it's perfect for summer. I'm, I love warm tones so it really spoke to me. So you have um, a lot of shimmer shadows and then you have some mattes. You also get two highlighter uh, colors which I think was really cool. Um, now their only thing is there aren't names with the eyeshadows, so that's why you're gonna see me pointing to the colors that I'm using. Um, and then as far as packaging, I thought the packaging was really pretty. It's a marble kind of packaging. Um, she has a cute little quote on the inside and then there is a mirror with it, so it's great for travel. Um, now the only con that I have about this palette, which is, this is just me being super nitpicky, I did notice there's a lot of kickback. And then um, the first time I used this palette, I had a lot of fallout. I mean, it kind of ruined my look because I just wasn't anticipating that. So in this tutorial, I was very careful because I knew that there could be potential fallout. So I just made sure I was very precise and um, particular on how I was, you know, blending everything in just so I wouldn't ruin my foundation and concealer with, you know, the fallout. But honestly, that is the only thing that I could say that I don't like about the palette and maybe that there aren't names, but that's just, again, me being nitpicky. Other than that, I think the, the palette is fabulous. I think the price is great. Um, for all the shades you get and um, the highlighter colors are really really popping girl and now I'm just going back in with that transition shade and I'm just kind of blending everything out so there are no harsh lines and then I'm using one of the highlight shades to go into my inner corner 
Next, I'm just using this Real Techniques brush to um, kind of contour slash bronze my skin just to add a little bit of color. And I'm using the Black Radiance Pressed Powder. I don't remember the color, but I will have um, the color and the descriptions of everything um, down below. And this is a technique I always do um, after I do any powder. Basically, usually after I use any type of powder product, I do go back over it with my Beauty blend Blender. I'm going in with the Milani Luminoso blush. And then next I'm using this Real Techniques fan brush um, and going in with my Becca pressed highlighting powder and it's in the shade Rose Gold, and I think it's so beautiful. So I use that on the um, high points of my cheekbones, under um, my eyebrows, on my nose, on my Cupid's bow, just everywhere, girl. Everywhere that you want to glow and shine. Now I'm going in with this Rimmel um, lip pencil. It's my favorite. It's in the shade Coffee Bean. And I'm just outlining my lips. Guys, these lip liners are so amazing. I feel like so many people are asleep on them. Like, they're creamy. Sometimes I just wear them alone and I get so many compliments. And they're just, they're creamy and they're easy to blend out. And, I mean, they're affordable. How can you beat that? Now I'm going in with this Too Faced Lippy. It is in the shade Cool Girl. I'm just going over that, and I really think it's a pretty shade, but um, I think it's too light for me, so that's why I did go ahead and um, line my lips, just to, you know, make it wearable for my skin tone. And now I'm just blending it by rubbing my lips together. I was being so extra with my lips like I think I went in with an, a highlighter and put it in the middle <laughs> and then I also go in with the NYX um, butter lip gloss I think it's in cream brulee and I just place that right in the middle just to give that little shine glowy effect and now I'm just doing some mascara going in with the L'Oreal um, false lash mascara and that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And comment below so let me know what some of your favorite summer glow products are.